Welcome back to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. Let's rant away. As you see in the background, I got the Sunday night football game, which was in a lengthy rain delay. I have baseball on the top right on my side there and wherever else. I don't know what else is on the top. Baseball is over wherever. It's behind, it's behind the sign on the, on the, on the top, yeah. Folks, 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 thank you so much for your support of our channel. Brother, 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 brother. League MVP and chief complainer, AJ, AJ, Asia, AJ, Asia Wilson. What happened to the league MVP? I'll tell you what happened. She got eliminated today. And yes, I watched the fourth quarter after the Miami Dolphins came away with a victory over the New England Patriots. It was not the prettiest thing. But my God, the Dolphins won a game. <clears throat> but yeah, after that game ended, I wanted to see what was going on in this Liberty uh, Aces game. As I have voiced that I want the Aces to lose. And uh, lose they did on their home floor in game four as the New York Liberty sent the Aces packing. 76 to 62. A team that averaged 86 points per game. 86 or is it 87? Let me check just real quick. They averaged 86.4 points per game this year. They scored 62 points in their season finale on their home court. But let's talk about this a little bit. Because I did watch the last quarter of this game. This was the quarter that actually mattered to the game. I was not going to put myself to the suffering of watching this. I really didn't plan on watching it, but it was a two-point game, and I'm like, let's see what happens. Here's what didn't happen. A league MVP decides to take the ball and say, I'm going to get this W. Here's what didn't happen. The Aces protect home court. Here's what did happen. Asia Wilson disappeared your league mvp your chief complainer your kelsey plum you ain't good enough because you you're not you're only good enough because because uh you are an, an activist because your skill is not why why you are here because you're white you're here because you're white Whenever Paige Becker shows up, she will be here because she's white. But you're, ch oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Asia, yeah, you come from a two parent household. You went to a prestigious Catholic, not Catholic, private school in South Carolina. Paige Becker grew up in a single family. Her father was a single father. Yeah, I know she has a black stepmother now. I don't know when she started. I don't know when she came into her life. I don't know. I don't claim to know. But man, oh man, oh man, Asia, where were you? You're supposed to be a dog. You're supposed to be the best in the world. Let me tell you something, man. Asia Wilson, seven for 13, 10 rebounds, 19 points, 10 rebounds, five block shots. In, a, in, in, in theory, that would be a good game, right? Would it? Yeah, it would. In theory. Except that you averaged 27 points a game this year and you were eight under your season average. Instead, you averaged 12 rebounds a game. You were two under your season average. Instead, you only took 13 shots. In the biggest game of your season, you, you pulled a LeBron James versus the Dallas Mavericks. In 2011, you disappeared when it mattered. Asia Wilson, 
walks into the fourth quarter of a 53-51 game. Think about that now. 51 points the Las Vegas Aces had scored. 51. Asia Wilson in the fourth quarter did not take her first shot of the fourth quarter until there were two minutes and 27 seconds left. By that point, the game was 71 to 56 New York. Asia Wilson disappeared. She hit one basket in the fourth. The next possession, she jacks a three that she banks, which means you know that shit was luck. With 152, Asia Wilson scores her only bucket of the fourth quarter, a three-point bank shot, which means lucky as hell, and they were trailing 74-56. That's your league MVP. She ain't go down swinging. She went down invisible. She went down whimpering. She went down with her tail between her legs. When you talk and talk and talk and voice so many things of injustice that go against you, you better show up when it's time to show up. But instead, this was Asia Wilson's last four games against the New York Liberty. The last four games of her season. She went for 19 and 10, 1914 on a Friday that they won. She went for 24 and 7. Still, they lost still off of her season average under her rate, way under her rebounding average. She went for 21 and six, and she went for 24 and 13. Well, that was the Seattle series. So 21 and six, 24 7, 19 14, 19 and 10. Let's do some basic mathematics because there was a lot of things that people talk about when they talk about players and how they perform when it matters. And I'm not going to take away from Asia Wilson the fact that she's won two WNBA championships and all that good stuff. But you know what? When no one's watching, nobody cares. In this case, you averaged 20.75 points per game after you averaged 27 a game this year. You averaged 10, 4, 7, 6 divided by 4 and 9 and a quarter rebounds. So you went for 20.75 and 9 and a quarter, which are well under your season averages. And on top of that, in game two, you pulled a Cam Newton. You pulled a Cam Newton. You decided you weren't going to dive in for a ball. You missed a point blank layup, airballing it. You missed a 14 foot jump shot, which is your game wide open. Oh, by the way, the first shot she took in the fourth quarter with 227 to go, it got blocked by Brianna Stewart, no less. And it was a mid range jump shot. You talked a lot, Asia. You have heard your name praised and you have gotten all the love and adoration from all the blowhards around that want to praise you at every moment they can praise you because guess what? You averaged 27 and 12, but of course the Las Vegas Aces this year went seven games backwards in their season record, which is why they were traveling to New York to start this semifinal series. Kudos to the New York Liberty. Kudos specifically to Sabrina Ionescu, who has refound her game because her second half of the season was not very good. And she had a 22, and she had, today she had 22, 7, 2, and 2 on 7 to 14, 5, 8, from 3. She balled. She balled. Can't say the same for, you can't say the same for the Las Vegas Aces, and they're not one, not two. Not three, but four Olympians. Chelsea Gray, the point guard, had seven points, 
six assists, two rebounds, two steals on three of eight shooting. Kelsey Plum, the girl who's in the league because she's white, had 17 points, but that was on 16 shots. Five of 16 from the field, otherwise ineffective. Two rebounds, one assist, two steals. Jackie Young. Oh, boy, Jackie Young. You really shit the bed today. One for ten. Four points. Five rebounds, two assists. Jackie Young hit like a 50-footer at the end of the third quarter that came just after the buzzer. So instead of having seven points and two of 10, I'm sorry, two of 11, because it was after the buzzer, didn't even count. She goes one of 10. Your three guards went nine of 34. So yes, while Asia Wilson went out with a whimper, her Olympic teammates didn't even show up in the building today. Four Olympians got their ass kicked on their home floor in the fourth quarter. You would think that you are on your home floor. It's a two-point game. You are going to find a way to gut it out. Not these Las Vegas aces, not after what Becky Hammond told you a couple, you know, a few days back after they lost game two to the Liberty. She voiced how they have been focused on commercials and stuff like that. Another team is pissed and blah, blah, blah. And there were some reactions from the New York Liberty players and how disrespected they felt by this team and kicking you while you're down and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But realistically, you have a league MVP who had arguably the best season in the history of the WNBA, per the opinion of many. 27 and 12, and she fucking disappeared. (sighs) Choked her ass off. Don't talk, just play. Don't do an ESPN expose in the middle of the conference or whatever, the league semifinals. Don't bitch and complain about how These white girls get so much love and you, the black woman, get so much hate. Asia, no one gave a gosh darn Rudy Pooh candy ass about your sorry ass a year ago. The fact that there are people that do not like your unlikable ass because of how you carry yourself and the things that come out of your mouth. Guess what? That comes with the territory of getting attention as a league, which you don't want. You want to go back to 400,000 viewers a game. You want to go back to the boring WNBA. Well, it's already boring. It's still boring. But you want to go back to where no one notices when you dog shit the game or play like crap. And you don't want to be seen. You don't want the backlash. You don't want the feedback. You don't want the comments, the opinions, the tweets, the texts, whatever the hell you get. Asia Wilson over the past two weeks has been caught up in not one, but two problems for shit she has said. But the WNBA doesn't care. WNBA is all good with it. They like the fact that she says what she says because they want to have a league of activists. It is what it is. Have a nice Christmas break, spring break, or whatever other break until we see you next May. Because Las Vegas Aces are going home. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about how Asia Wilson disappeared when it mattered. And what you think about that league MVP? Love to hear it. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Hit that bell. Come on now. 